host Mark Mulner is your host for the Weather Show Weather Northeastern. Let's get right into the forecast for the tropics. Tropics have gotten very active as of late. We're watching three, well, two named storms and a potential invest system. Let's get right into the Gulf of Mexico. This is where Gordon is. Still think that Gordon has a good possibility of becoming a minimal hurricane before landfall here and somewhere probably in Mississippi. Uh, most of the worst effects will be along and east of the center over the Mississippi Delta area, Biloxi over to Mobile, Alabama. Those are where the biggest effects from the storm. Uh, most of the action is on the east side with all those feeder bands coming in as this system continues to move around the periphery of a subtropical high anchored over the Atlantic here, pushing the storm up here and eventually once it reaches inland, decreasing in forward speed as steering currents become very interesting and almost non-existent here across Arkansas, portions of Northeast Texas, and into Missouri. So I'm going to watch for that because this could be quite an inland flooding rain producer. But in the meantime, we still have to deal with Gordon here. Still think could make landfall as a minimal hurricane so you're going to watch want to watch for the effects right on the northeast side of new orleans you may encounter some effects but as i said the worst effects are going to be over mississippi delta area and over into portions of alabama so watch for that as the system moves in storm surge likely as well thankfully we're not dealing with a moderate to major hurricane here but still this is in an area that's pretty sensitive to storm surge and flooding. And nevertheless, it is a pretty good sized circulation as it spins here into the southern portion of Mississippi and Alabama. So there you have it. There's Gordon, our G name storm of the season. And we're going to get right out here into uh, portions of the Atlantic where we're dealing with Florence. You know, it alternates between tropical storm and hurricane status. I think this system, for the most part, once it completes the periphery of the subtropical high out in the Atlantic near the Azores, it will start to find a weakness here just east of Bermuda, and it should clear Bermuda. Bermuda should be spared by this storm. So there you have Florence, and if that wasn't enough, take a look at all the tropical factors here. We are dealing with an Invest 92 system here out by the Cape Verdes, and this system will continue to progress towards the west northwest towards the lesser antilles in time we'll watch this system we've got plenty of time to watch invest 92 out here in the atlantic so there you have it very active systems there's gordon going right up through the mississippi delta here so very interesting to say the least as the gulf of mexico really starts to open up here so watch for gordon as it makes landfall tonight tuesday evening here Tuesday night. So there you have it. Take a look if you are sending photos and videos. Robert, this is pretty fitting. Mobile, Alabama. This is actually a couple days ago. We're looking at his open road shots here and his video of going across them beautiful bridges here in Mobile, Alabama. They won't, the weather's not going to look this beautiful in the next several hours across Mobile, Alabama. So very nice, Robert. Joe Drehos from Johnson City, New York. Take a look at these beautiful billowing puffy cumulus and at times cumulonimbus clouds here in the background. Nice capture as we saw lots of thunderstorms and heavy rainers developing during the day on, it was on Labor Day here. And heading on into downstate New York here. Take a look near Rye, New York. John from Islip, New York. Take a look at this. He captured this sunset near Rye, New York. So very beautiful capture. He even captured a video here along the highway. So very nice. Getting right into the forecast, starting off with precipitation totals across the country. Most of the action here is the Mississippi Delta, where we'll be dealing with those six to as much as 10 inches of rain. And once we get inland here towards northeast Texas, portions of Arkansas, Missouri, eastern Oklahoma, can eastern Kansas. We're going to be dealing with rainfall totals well over 10 inches as the system begins to stall across the area. So there you have it for rainfall totals into your pattern. Look at this across much of the country. The jet streams stand mostly to the north, so a lot of the precipitation totals across the nation are the result of cutoff lows and tropical moisture and tropical systems. 
getting right into the heat index. I don't have any severe weather to report to you. That's very good news. But across the Northeast Wednesday, your big story will be especially the urban centers like Rochester, Syracuse, Buffalo, Albany, Binghamton, Scranton, Harrisburg area, Lancaster, Philadelphia, Newark, New York City, Hartford, Connecticut. We're going to be dealing with heat indexes over 100 in many of these areas. Getting right into the forecast for the midpoint of the week, Wednesday. We have a short week this week. Take a look for Wednesday. Looking very hazy, hot, and humid. There is a chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm. Most areas, 20% and look at this heading up towards the lower to mid 90s temperatures heat index combining with low to mid 70s in the dew point range we're dealing with heat index well over 100 in many of these especially the urban centers in the river valleys especially upper 90s to low 100s here into your thursday we have that front beginning to push Across the eastern Great Lakes here, it's going to spark off some showers and thunderstorms. Maybe some of them could be severe near Olean, Bradford, portions of the western Pennsylvania area. So maybe a damaging wind gust, large hail. As this front pushes to the south, it will be an isolated severe event. Most areas seeing about a 50 to 60 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms. We will see with those clouds with the front temperatures pushing down into the 70s, which is nice. It will still be very humid across the area though. And heading off into your Friday, front pretty much clears. I wasn't so sure it would clear the New York, Pennsylvania border areas on northward, but it will. Most of the chances of rain are along the Pennsylvania Turnpike on southward. And look at this, we scour out those clouds, looking for a pretty decent day near Binghamton, Erie, Buffalo, Syracuse, Albany, over to Connecticut, where we'll break into the low 70s with 30 percent humidity very nice get out there enjoy it into saturday we got another really nice day here we start to get some showers here with some return tropical moisture but most of the areas are hanging on to mostly sunny skies even the coastal plain here 70s a very popular number across the northeast and look at that you can't get much better for a Saturday across most areas. Only 30 to 40 percent humidity. We will have some clouds on the increase near Erie Bradford State College with some of those showers developing. But for the most part, we'll get a nice Saturday in here. Take a look at five day outlook from Binghamton to Scranton and all points in between along the upper Susquehanna River Delta. Look at this for your Wednesday. Hazy, hot and humid, a 20 percent chance of an afternoon thunderstorm between the hours of 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Otherwise, mostly sunny, heading up towards the 90 and heat index near 100. For your Thursday, chance of showers and thunderstorms, 50%, especially between 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. That front approaches towards late afternoon, heading up towards the upper 70s into your Friday and Saturday. Look at that. This is the two best days here. Sunny skies both days, heading up into the lower 70s. And for, look at this for your Sunday. We get a little bit of more clouds coming in. We won't get out of the upper 60s. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, MediaMark, subscribe to me on MediaMark, comment, Twitter, at WX Northeastern, Google Plus, and MediaMark. That'll do for this edition of Weather Northeastern.